What's up, y'all? It's D Side, and I am partnering up with Clay Hair to bring you all a simplified wig maintenance video. The first thing to come to mind when I think about maintaining a wig, obviously, is washing a wig. How can I maintain a wig if it isn't clean? Before shampooing a wig, you do want to remove any tangles that you have. So I'm going to use a powder brush. You can use a powder brush or wide tooth comb, whichever works best for you. I do have a 360 frontal wig and as you all see, I have got to be hair gel on it, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to remove all of that. Starting off, I'm going to stop the sink up with nice warm water. We're going to take our shampoo and just go in a zigzag motion. Take your hand and splash it around in the water, you know, mix everything up together. And then I'm going to take the wig and dunk it down. <laughs> go take our wig and gently submerge it into the water there. Then I'm just going to brush through to, you know, loosen up all the dirt and everything. Get ready for the shampooing process. When washing a wig, I think most of us understand the concept of actually washing the hair because, come on, we all have hair. We know how to wash hair, right? But it's the lace part that get a little tricky because it's like, well, do I scrub the lace? Like, how do I get it clean? It's more simple than you think. I use Got To Be Hair Gel to secure my wigs down. So once I basically put the wig in the water, the Got To Be Gel becomes soft and gooey. So when I take the shampoo and apply the shampoo to the lace, Take my fingertips, you know, scrub it around a little bit. It basically makes the gel just dissolve. And then once I'm done scrubbing, I take the water, rinse it away. There you go. Nice, fresh, clean lace. Then we're just going to let the water run over the lace because we don't want to push any dirt back in the lace. We just want it to run over it to push anything that we have left out. And as y'all see, we got that sucker pretty clean. I wash my wigs once a week and I never apply like a lot of hold and spray and just all of this actually throughout the hair. So I feel that it's never really dead dirty. But to make sure it's clean, I'm going to take some shampoo, run it along the hair, you know, and take my brush and just brush it through basically. And I feel like this just loosened up everything. And if I do have any dirt or anything in it, it's going to get out. And then I'm going to soak it in the water for like five, ten minutes. Come back, rinse it through we done i don't make like a huge deal about washing my wigs like it's not this big old process like most people would think it is it's fairly simple and then i'm gonna squeeze all the water out of the hair and that's it we done with the washing process Now we're going to begin to style the wig. Some people do like to style their wigs on their head, but me personally, I just like to do it on the mannequin. I can see it better. I can get all the angles better, honey. It's better to me. So yeah, I'm just going to put it on there and I'm going to allow it to air dry overnight because I was really tired. Let's be honest. And look at the pattern. Even though I have like flat ironed this hair bone straight before, it does bounce right back to the body wave pattern. Yeah. I recommend using a heat protective spray before blow drying or flat ironing your hair because it forms a protective barrier over the cuticle of the hair which prevents heat damage and moisture loss. When I flat ironed the hair, I didn't really have it up on a high setting because I was like, I knew I was going to come behind it with the Carolyn iron. And also with the Carolyn iron, I didn't allow it to sit that long on the hair because I was like, look, I'm about to put some rollers in it. Well, not rollers, tissue. Yeah, tissue. I know this may be quite odd to some of y'all, but trust me, it worked. So you're just going to take your hair and wrap it around the tissue all the way. And then you all see the loop at the bottom. I'm just going to take my fingers and grab the two straight um, ends of the tissue and pull it through securely. And there you go. I normally decide if I want a side part or a middle part before allowing my hair to dry. I do this because when the hair is wet, it's easier to part it and make the frontal actually lay down. Once the wig is dry, however those hairs dry is normally how it's going to stay, but you can correct it. The first way, which is my favorite, you just put the part in there, then you get some water, calm it through. Because the water is just make it lay down, y'all know this. Or you can do what a lot of people do on YouTube, which is quicker because you don't have to wet the hair and wet on it to dry again. You just get a high comb and of course just comb it through. But me personally, I don't like to comb the part 
and leave it at that because it's like only the part will lay down and the rest of the hair will be poofy but i'm going to make small sections and do the entire frontal to make sure everything is laying down flush to my head Alright, and the reason that I'm rubbing the oil between my hands is because I don't want the hair to be super oily. You know, if I put it directly on the hair, it's just going to look like, oh, wee, your weave needs to be washed again. So, yeah, I'm just lightly applying oil so I don't have any flyaways. I didn't allow the curl and iron to sit that long on the hair because I did know that I was going to roll it up. So, yeah, we're just going to get out tissue. And y'all can use rollers, but I don't know i didn't have any rollers so i was like man look i need to use me some tissue to make my curls last so yeah we're just gonna roll it up um i hope this is simple to y'all i tried to zoom in so y'all can get a clear view of it and that's it when you're done you're gonna look like the lady they got the snakes in her hair all right you all and this is the finished look look at me i popped up like look like rupaul <laughs> So yes, this is the finished look. So I'm here supposed to be giving y'all hair tips. Let me give y'all some hair tips. All right, we're washing. I say you should wash. I mean, you should shampoo and condition your hair. I did not show me condition hair up in the video, but please make sure you condition your hair because this is not no, oh, it don't matter. It's just hair. It matter. You spent your money on this, okay? You want it to last as long as it can. If I just wash my hair with like harsh shampoos, never conditioned what am i doing stripping it of all the nice nutrients and everything it's not nourished anymore now it's ugly dry and brittle and i'm walking around oh we that ain't no get her comfy yes it is you strip the hair ain't nothing wrong with the hair there's something wrong with you okay and when you wash your hair you see this right here this is not always your friend when you're washing your hair especially if you have curly hair or anything you just don't want to go in like oh uh, like no, you ripping it from this. Once you get the ripping up in this lace, once you get the damage in the webs, your hair is gonna start shedding. You gonna mess it up. You can even put a hole in your lace or a hole in your cap or anything or rip some thread. You don't want to do that. That's gonna take the life out of it. It's wear and tear. Now your wig ugly, falling apart. No, ma'am. Well, obviously, in between like taking your wig out, putting it back on. If you're the kind of person like me, like I just glued this wig down. So she gonna stay down until she ready to come up. You hear me stay down until you ready to come up. <laughs> so at nighttime, I'm not gonna go to bed like this, ladies. How do I see the women on TV? Oh, we look at Marilyn Monroe. She's so fancy. She just sleep. No, no. Do you know how many wigs they have? They probably take the wigs off and throw them to the birds and get a new one the next day. It doesn't matter with them. If you're the kind of person where you know you got like two or three wigs and you're going to wear these two or three wigs, you take care of your two or three wigs, okay? You're going to take this hair. I showed you how to roll your hair, okay? Don't come with that, oh, we, I don't have any rollers. I showed you how to roll over tissue and keep your tissue. Don't be throwing your tissue away, get new tissue every night. You can keep it and reuse it for like three nights. I did it before. But yeah, roll your hair up and get you a nice like bonnet, the jumbo kind. Because y'all see this hair is long. So I can't come with that little bitty, itty bitty, a gray bonnet. I don't know, man. We're not doing that. We're going to get us a nice long silk bonnet, satin bonnet, anything that's like smooth material. If something is like this, you see this towel? This is rough. Girl, that's gonna cause split ends, shed, and just freezy hair, ugly, take all the moisture out. Cotton absorbs moisture. So at night, you're gonna roll your hair, ladies, and put your satin bunny on. Traveling with your wigs. Put them in a little Ziploc bag or just something to make sure it's nice. Don't throw the wig in there with the suitcase with your jeans. Now your jeans and friction rubbing up against the strands of your hair. Now you got split ends and your weave is just dry and ugly and nasty. And don't know about them on that. I don't know. I think these are the tips that I got. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all learned something. If y'all have any more tips, look at me. Oh my God, I'm trying to be fancy. Look how I stand it. If y'all have any more tips and tricks or anything about how to maintain your wigs, about storing your wigs, or if I missed anything, let me know down there. Okay, go down there and let me know. Be like, go on, uh-uh. Give all your tips and tricks down below, y'all. We as a community, we helping each other keep our hair together. We helping each other look good. All 2018, we going into 2019, you looking good too, you hear me? So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. And it don't matter, just engage with me, okay? And shout out to Clay Hair for giving me this nice wig, honey. And shout out to Destiny for giving me this dress. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. And we out of here.